Travel this land to the Rocky Mountains, travel this land to the prairies wide. Travel this land to the Great Lakes shine, and travel this land side by side. Travel it's this time land. once again to travel this land travel with Canada's Benadir, Wiz Bryant. On today's program, the story of forest fires in the Canadian wilds and the people who battle them. Fire coming over the hill. I don't know if you've ever seen a forest fire. I've only seen a couple. But I will never forget the feeling of fear and awe that accompanied the sight. It was a hot, dry summer day in the British Columbia interior. A clear blue sky suddenly ignited with billowing black smoke, rising like a demonic thundercloud behind a not-so-distant forested mountain. It was the closeness of the fire that made it so frightening. The realization of its incredible power, of how quickly wildfire can sweep forward, fueled by wind and tinder-dry forests. My hometown lay before it, suddenly appearing helpless and vulnerable in the path of one of nature's most powerful forces, fire. We could see the burn lighting up the sky, smoke and cinders filled our eyes, digging with shovels to build a fire line. They cut our train crew down to three, looks like a mistake to me, there's fire coming over the hill. There's fire coming over the hill. There's fire coming over the hill. Can this be the wrath of God? There's fire coming over the hill. We could see the burn lighting up the sky. Smoke and cinders filled our eyes. Digging with shovels to build a fire line. They cut our train crew down to three. Looks like a mistake to me. There's fire. There's fire coming over the hill. There's fire coming over the hill. For Canadians living in our large urban centers, the threat of forest fires is not something uppermost in people's minds. But in the hundreds of towns spread throughout Canada's vast forest regions, in areas like the Maritimes, Quebec, the northern half of the Prairie Provinces, in Alberta and British Columbia, the very real danger of a raging forest fire on a hot summer day is never far away. In Canada's history, there is a record of many devastating fires. In October of 1825, after a dry summer, the Miramichi fire devastated some 15,000 and a half kilometers of timber north of New Brunswick's Miramichi River. It completely engulfed the communities of Douglastown and Newcastle with the estimated toll in human lives lost of between 200 and 500 persons. In July 1916, in northern Ontario, the Matheson Fire started from a number of small blazes, ignited by both lightning strikes and the sparks from passing locomotives. Whipped into a fierce firestorm, the fire struck the communities of Cochrane and Matheson, burning both towns to the ground and killing 228 people. In the late 1980s, there were major evacuations of people in northern Manitoba from the town of Flin Flon, as a huge forest fire threatened to engulf that town. And in 1985, in the Kootenai Valley of British Columbia, over 500 fires were burning, threatening not only timber stands, but vulnerable communities of people as well. Lighting up the sky, smoke and cinders filled our eyes, digging with shovels to build a fire line. They cut our train crew down to three. Looks like a mistake to me. There's fire coming over the hill. There's fire coming. A dry spell with high wind signals fire weather. And this is when most of Canada's yearly average of over 9,000 forest fires occurs. 65% of these fires are caused by humans, but it is the remaining 35% mostly started by lightning strikes that usually do the greatest damage. Lightning fires are usually remote and harder to detect. This is where the Forest Service comes in. The traditional fire tower 
has largely been replaced in recent years by aerial patrols and computerized lightning detection systems, which are supposed to pinpoint probable locations. In the summer of 1985, in the Kootenays, the BC Forest Service was relying heavily on its computerized fire management system. Ranger towers were closed in large numbers, and the numbers of trained crews were reduced. But man's reliance on technology failed him, and the provincial forest fire control teams were unable to control the burns. Fire control methods include aerial droppings of water and chemicals, and the persons who fly these bombers remind you of pilots from the Second World War. The ground crews are like the infantry, utilizing portable water pumps with hose lines, tanker trucks, bulldozers, and hand tools. In the summer of 1985, large numbers of those ground crews were raw and untrained. It is not surprising then that a number of charred corpses were brought into the town of Nelson, British Columbia. Forest firefighters unprepared for the dangers they faced. The forest fire warden in New Denver, BC, blamed the BC government for its management policies, citing inefficiency and needless danger. I can only imagine what it must be like to confront such a powerful and unpredictable enemy. The behavior of a fire depends on so many different factors. The moisture content of the trees, for one, the type of trees, the weather, and the wind. Fighting a ground fire is one thing, but the thing to remember is a fire is a moving combustion reaction that spreads outward in a band from its ignition source. When the heat and intensity of a fire reach a certain point, the fire rises into the crowns of the trees, exploding and leaping from tree to tree. Particularly in our western Canadian coniferous forests, it is when this crowning fire begins that people die. Strike, let the first one go. 500 fires all aglow. Men on the ground who keep those devils down. Bombers come in and let the chemicals fly. But it's city boys who are gonna die. There's fire coming over the hill. I've lived in the Kootenai since I was 10. Known some brave firefighting men. I'll stay in these wilds till I die. But when they brought the charred corpses down, helped the fear in Nelson Town, there's fire coming over the hill. There's fire coming over the hill, my lord. As terrifying there's as forest fires are to humans and wildlife, and as wasteful as they often are to the precious stands of timber they destroy, it is still very important for us to remember that many of these fires are an ecological necessity. Forests have been historically dependent on ecological recycling by periodical fire for their long-term stable existence. The fire purifies and cleanses and makes way for new growth. This is an environmental necessity for the perpetuation of the forest in its natural state. But the interaction of ecological and economic factors has greatly complicated the task of forest fire management. Throughout the country, provincial forestry departments maintain fire prevention programs aimed at reducing the number of fires caused by humans. It is a difficult and sometimes thankless task for which they deserve our gratitude and continued support. Their budget for controlling forest fires is around $250 million a year, but I wonder if that is nearly enough. Computers are wonderful inventions, but when the going gets tough, it is still is, and most likely will always be, the highly trained men and women of the firefighting crews that get the job done. They are the ones who will stand on the fire line, a shovel in their hand, facing a wall of flame. In the summer of 85, they called every able-bodied man alive. Ross City boys made up the hasty crew. Sent to face a wall of flame. No one wants to take the blame. There's fire coming over the hill. We could see the burn lighting up the sky. Smoke and cinders filled our eyes. Digging with shovels to build a fire line. They cut our train crew down to three. 
Looks like a mistake to me There's fire coming over the hill There's fire coming over the hill There's fire coming over the hill And this be the wrath of God There's fire coming over the hill Let the first one go. 500 fires all aglow. Men on the ground who keep those devils down. Bombers come in and let the chemicals fly. But it's city boys who are gonna die. There's fire coming over the hill. I've lived in the Kootenai since I was 10. Known some brave firefighting men. I'll stay in these wilds till I die. But when they brought the charred corpses down, felt the fear in Nelson Town, there's fire coming over the hill. There's fire coming over the hill, my lord. There's fire coming over the hill. And this be the wrath of God. There's fire coming over the hill. Now there's half a million acres of flame-scorched land where a living forest used to stand and angry boys would swear someone must pay. Well, they're talking about a new government bill and the warden in New Denver, he's shouting still, there's fire coming over the hill. There's fire coming over the hill, my lord. There's fire coming over the hill. Can this be there's fire coming over the hill. There's fire coming over the hill. There's fire coming over the hill. Ride and travel this land to Hudson's Bay. You've been traveling this land with travel Canada's land singing so storyteller, Wiz Bryant. Please feel free to write to us with your comments. We'd be delighted to hear from you. Thank you for listening, and join us again next time for another fascinating Canadian tale and story and song as we continue to travel this land. And travel this land. summer of 85 they called every able-bodied man alive Ross city boys made up the hasty crew sent to face a wall of flame no one wants to take the blame there's fire coming over the hill we could see the burn lighting up the sky smoking cinders filled our eyes digging with shovels to build a fire line they cut our train crew down to three Looks like a mistake to me, there's fire coming over the hill. There's fire coming over the hill. There's fire coming over the hill. And this be the wrath of God. There's fire coming over the hill. Strike, let the first one go. 500 fires all aglow. Men on the ground who keep those devils down. Bombers come in and let the chemicals fly. But it's city boys who are gonna die. There's fire coming over the hill. I've lived in the Kootenai since I was 10. Known some brave firefighting men. I'll stay in these wilds till I die. But when they brought the charred corpses down, felt the fear in Nelson Town. There's fire coming over the hill. There's fire coming over the hill, my lord. There's fire coming over the hill. Can this be the wrath of God? There's fire coming over the hill. Now there's half a million acres of flame-scorched land Where a living forest used to stand And angry voices swear someone must pay Well, they're talking about a new government bill And the warden in New Denver, he's shouting still There's fire coming over the hill There's 
Yeah.